all right what's up so it's been a while since i did a voice commentary and since, and it's voice moist moistly mostly because i haven't been really getting good at it it's mostly because i haven't really had anything to talk about or have been really good at commentating recently and and you know it's kind of been sucking so today I'm going to be talking about my Gravity Falls uh, MV that I made, or AMV, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> and today I'm going to be talking about the makings of it. And this is something I kind of want to do, like just look at it behind the scenes, what I tried, what I tried to do to make it good. And looking back at it, I thought it was pretty good. Actually, whenever I made it, I wouldn't say these kinds of things aren't hard to make. They're just, it just takes a little bit of time to learn. I want to really call this like, say this is how I learned much about Sony Vegas, because the only thing I really learned about it is, is uh, the TV simulator effect, and that effect I used that that one a lot. I used it in the last half of my MV, and so <coughs> uh, I'll just like I guess you, I can walk people through this like how I did it so people can learn off of me I guess it's not really that hard in fact I didn't even use this track right here I don't even know why I have it right here because I remember when I first used movie studio platinum it had already three like whenever you boot it up it already has three th these four tracks right here text video audio and music and I thought and before I didn't know that the text track was actually a video track so I learned something right there and I didn't know the audio and the music were kind of different it's just yeah they just put it there just to help you I guess it kind of helped you learn but that's not the point right now I mean really in this video I only use three tracks the, the this video track this uh, two video tracks and one music track this track has no reason to be here actually um, maybe I'll just go ahead and delete it right now yeah that's much better all right um, so, uh, let me just go through the video and I'll just probably commentate through how it was. Well, I mean, I learned a little bit right here. I, I kind of learned that, or I kind of had this editing trick that to do this little fading out thing, but use that as like kind of a beat, sort of. So it flashes, like it fades out. And I cut it right there in the middle so I can two, put two fades out right there. And for this first part, I just used the Gideon whenever Gideon was making the deal with Bill Cipher. So, and that was the only thing I used right here. And for this part, I was just originally make uh, planning to make this like this fades in and it's creepy and it's Bill Cipher. And he was looking ominous and all that, but then I found out this little thing. I was planning to put this in the entire video, but then I looked at it and said, that's not going to work. It's going to hide most of my effects. So I accidentally found it like this, and I, 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 I ended up, I can't speak. I ended up do, uh, making it to where it sort of reveals that right there. And I gotta turn down the volume, holy crap, it's so loud. I'm not a fan of and for the beat effect right here, um, this is what I did. I, what I did was I zoomed it in a bit, and then I zoomed it back out again to make it look like there was sort of a beat. And if you don't know how pan and crop works, this is how it works. There's like a, two keyframes that you have right here. And I'm going to open up my test project from Vegas Pro. I do realize it's different from Movie Studio Platinum. I was using Movie Studio Platinum at the time. I wasn't using Vegas Pro. And uh, this is much better if you want to do some editing. So, I mean, it, Movie Studio Platinum is cheaper, but this one's way better than Movie Studio Platinum. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so how, so how Pan and Crop works, if you don't know is i don't know maybe i should just get some text right there sample text bit of sample text right there uh 
there's these two keyframes and you can create keyframes like this this is what they look like so you can put a keyframe right there and then put another keyframe right here and I'll click restore and this is how it looks like it kind of slides in like that and I remember when I didn't know how this worked and I thought it was so amazing but then looking at it now it's one of the most simple effects in Sony Vegas and I'm going to say right now if you do want to make an AMV I uh, this effect this like learning how to use this pan and crop effect to your advantage is just essential and let me just say I mean I do realize this is not a oh you can copy this uh yeah I didn't know that that is see I just learned something new right there like I do realize this is not a tutorial video but if you do want to make an AMV <coughs> I suggest learning about how this works and everything and how to use this to your advantage or not just use this for cool effects and all that I won't save it right there and I do realize I went a bit on a ramble right there so for this beginning part right here I kind of put it to where it, it sort of introduced Bill Cipher how he was and it's, it was sort of like a this little segment was all of, all the times Bill Cipher was coming into the shot and and um and the lyrics kind of match up with it because I don't like because I noticed with a lot of uh, AMVs that or MVs that have to do cartoon cartoons they don't really do a good job with it they just put some random clips together don't really fit with the music me I like to fit the music with the actual thing and and have the clips fit with the music so for this so like he says something terrible is pulling string strings uh something terrible something terrible going on and it kind of feels ominous in the beginning like you don't know what's going on so that's why i put all the all the times bill cypher is being introduced to the characters in all times whenever he was coming into the scene Okay, so for this one, I don't know why, but uh, I for that lyric right there, I, I put, I can't sit idly, and no, I can't move at all. And that was just the fact that Dip Bruce pulled out his body, and I guess he couldn't move in his body. I, I don't know. Uh, I probably should have put diff something different right there, or just another introduction of him. Um, One day, I might remaster this, this uh, MV, because I feel like it could be improved uh, more than it is. Oh, I curse the name. Okay, so for that part right there, uh, what I was, the thing I was playing to do with this <coughs> was I was playing to make it where it zooms in and it acts as a transition. But then it, then instead of that, uh, I don't know, that looks like, but instead of that, it just like sort of zoom it, zooms in and just cuts in or clip. It doesn't look like a transition at all. So I probably should have done something different there, but you know, I was sort of an amateur editor at the time. I mean, I didn't even know I could make markers like that that um that would probably help me a lot because um because i did and also and i also like i was too lazy for some reason to select that the clip right there and just cut it like that so i ended up making a lot of cuts and the audio too and i also might fix that for organization reasons maybe because I feel like that would be a problem if I would if I were to try and remaster this and I would put extra audio in there. And you know, you know what I'm saying here. Okay, so for this part right here, you may notice that there's no beat effect. Like there's there's no beat effect right there. So instead what I try to do, if you notice it's a very subtle difference right there, it zooms in. And it keeps on zooming in with every time he goes like to make you take a little away and with every syllable right there uh, it zooms in and I made it very subtle so I feel like I should have made it more noticeable for that effect right there I wish I I wish I knew the fat the uh, this little thing right here the 
fast most and stuff like that so I could make the effect better because look that looks so much better that looks so much better than the than the linear transition I used this little part as a transition and then this part right here I'm still kind of proud of like I, I wouldn't say I'm proud of it but the way I did this little part right here this little bit is that uh well listen to the song i noticed there's just little like in that little part right there from where the tv simulator uh, team tv simulator effect is i noticed there was like this kind of uh glitchiness in the voice like listen to it now so i wanted to make something that kind of uh make something in the mv that went with the voice that how it how it was glitching out so which is why in which is why i included this effect right there and i had this like going vertically up and with a and i was planning to make a tv uh like sort of a glitchy tv effect and i thought i couldn't do it at first until i figured out that the tv simulator effect existed and which saved my life on that part and it made it look so much better i I think now I can make this pretty fast, but before I I was, it was kind of, eh, you know. And for this part, I just literally used the part where like Bill Cipher is getting his physical form and Mabel's getting trapped in there. It kind of I wish I used two different clips at that time because now it's just like. For two seconds, it just so blended right there, having nothing to do with the thing, and it's like it's completely random. So that's why I say I might remaster this MV. This is my first MV, by the way. I mean, I mean, I should probably be calling it AMV. I'm gonna call it AMV. I don't know because I'm gonna call it AMV because AMV can stand for anime music video and animated music video. Uh, so. Because this is actually my first AMV. Some people may not believe that. People who are newcomers to my channel. But this is my first AMV. And I wanted to go all out on this one. I haven't said that yet. But this AMV. This is something that I didn't want to just make it an amateur AMV. Just put some clips together. and Because I saw other AMVs like MCATWood. And other stuff like of Steven Universe and all that. And so I wanted to make something that was unique. For a first AMV and not just put some clips together and say, oh, that's an AMV, it's just bunch of music video clips, but I want to make effects, something that would uh, look amazing and something, yeah, so that's why I included that. And what I do with these uh, AMVs before I make it, I listen to the music and I imagine in my head what am I going to use for that particular part right there instead of just randomly putting clips in there. Cause I like to, cause like I said, I like to make the music fit with the clip. So I imagine in my head, what would it be like? Yeah, and for that little drop right there, I wanted to put something extremely insane. So I put this little part right here. And for the very insane TV similar effects, I just put, went crazy with the, these right here. And just went completely random with it. And did whatever I want with it, so uh, which is how I created these effects. The TV similar effect has a lot of opportunities and a lot of things to it that you can do to it, which is what why it's one of my favorite effects, and I really do like it. Okay, yeah. For this little part right here, um. Yeah, so that little lyric right there, now the world's being torn apart, Bill Cypher's kind of tearing apart the USA. Kind of see what's happening there. I probably should have put him, like, <laughs> eating the entire world. But I don't know if that clip would be long enough to fit in. I probably should, maybe I could slow it down, but I don't think I knew how to do that back then. I didn't know how to do a lot of things in, in, um... Movie Studio or Vegas back then. I'm gonna call this a Vegas product. Even though it's Movie Studio Platinum. It's sort of like Sony Vegas, but just a cheap version. 
and yeah, I didn't know a lot about it. I didn't know how to slow down clips. I barely knew how to use pan and crop. I I didn't know a lot of the effects. I uh, yeah, basically. A terrible catastrophe. Played by a symphony. What a terrifying work of art. What a terrifying work of art. Uh, I put this right here because. I can't see it. Yeah. No, I can't move at all. I curse the name. The one behind it. Oh. Oh, yeah, that right there. I almost forgot to comment on that. Okay, so this little part, um, I was pretty proud of because I was so proud. The one behind it. Because at first I wasn't going to put a beat there and some beats and claps there. So I was thinking, ah, that would take too long. But then I came around and said, you know what, I should. And I was really proud of it because I was really surprised at how consistent I was able to be with the beats and everything. Yeah, because I was extremely surprised by how I was able to keep up the beats and able to have it not be horrible, you know. Fun fact, this this whole thing actually ended up being only 300, somewhere around 350 megabytes. And I won't open up my folder because I don't want to forget to edit that out. And, um, and, uh, and, you know, some personal stuff is being seen because there are some personal folders in there. Kind of get that right there. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that you can see the Disney, you can either see the Disney XD logo or the Kiss cartoon logo on the top right there. That's, that's kind of funny to be honest to me. Ah, uh, that right there, that little effect right there. It happened for so little, but it's such a crazy effect to me because I was trying to put a little beat right there, but it ended up just not working. In fact, you couldn't even see it at all. So for this part right here, I literally just put everything up the full. Like, I put everything. Vertical waves, horizontal waves, vertical amplitude, horizontal amplitude, vertical phase, horizontal phase. And it ended up in this little product right there. And there's a long part, of course, you know about that. Maybe I'll remake this and put R and B on it. Real smart motion player. And, and maybe that will make it better. Okay, so for these little parts right here where it goes like, it goes through that little phase right there and, then, and goes like that right there, I put a little transition right there, I put a little TV simulator effect. And right here, I, I kind of messed up the transition right there. Like, um, I put a little too much right there and, and, I, and maybe I should fix that whenever I remake this. But you know, for now, not really. Skip, 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 skip. Alright, for this part right here, um, I, I didn't really try to put too much of a crazy effect on here because this part is kind of the sad part where uh, Ford has to pull out his memory gun and has to uh, erase Stan's memories. So, which is why I put this little effect right here and it's like, you know, really calm right there. And there's no need to have a crazy effect. I guess like I gradually put started to put more crazy and crazy effects. Like, cause I didn't want to make it the same TV simulator effect and just make it feel repetitive. Because it already is repetitive and I knew that going making this. <coughs> so I I didn't want to make it too repetitive. I wanna make it have unique effects and all that. Nothing special right now. Yeah, that little part right there where it kind of drops and it ma makes that little cool sound. I wanted to put like a little blue screen so uh, it kind of transitions and I probably should have put a different effect right there. But and you may got any people watching this may not get what I'm saying. But yeah, nothing special right there. On scan, probably should have put a different effect. Here. This effect I want to talk about. That effect. So this effect, I don't know what I put on it, but I do know that I went absolutely crazy on it. I put everything on there. I put the line sync down, put the phosphorus down. Um, uh, yeah, I keep that down still. I think I have a reason for that. 
I do have another one right there. I don't know why. I, I think I kept on putting, putting TV simulator effects. Uh, more TV simulator effects would probably made it more crazy. Yeah, and then there's another one of these. Nothing big right here. Um, mostly because I'm too late to come. So that part right there, um, uh, some may be wondering how I got that little bit. Well, t I got a little bit lucky and once again accidentally found out about that while, um, look, just going by frame by frame of whenever Stan punched Bill and basically erased him from existence. Uh, so, uh, you know, so as it says, maybe, I don't know. And I got a little bit, a little frame where the lightning flashed and it looked like this so instead of just putting I don't know like just him putting punching Bill and just being done with it and I was kind of I was kind of arguing with myself which one I would want to do like him punching Bill and then you know that being the end of the AMV or or him punching Bill and just doing this so I decided to do this I probably should have been put a little beat right there in fact I'll do it right now um, and see, I want to see how that looks. Uh, one, two. One, two rules. That's the rules. I couldn't even see it, to be honest. What the hell? Um, did I mess up right there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just undo that, please. Um, right here, pan and crop. Um, I don't know what happened right there. Uh, yeah, one, two, one, two, roll. One, for God's sake, okay. One, two. The one, two, roll, that's what I call it. The two, the two frames in roll. So take a tear and you yeah, I think that would make it better. That would make it so much better. But I'm not making any changes until I decide to remaster it. But anyways, that was the end of my little commentary on this little uh, AMV that I made. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And maybe you learned something something from it. Honestly, these aren't really hard um, until you start doing them and, and until you start learning them. So I really do hope that someone got to learn something out of this. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching if you watched the whole way through and goodbye.